Hi boys and girls, welcome to class. Today is Monday, May 18th, and this will be our last week of school. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with our reading. We do have another mystery reader since it is Monday. So let's see if you can figure out who your mystery reader is. Enjoy the book. Hello, K.A. I'm going to be your mystery reader for today. Hopefully, you know who I am. This book is called My Strong Mind by Niels Van Hove. Kate is a sporty and happy girl. She does well at school and has many friends, but like every girl, she faces difficult situations at home or at school. Sometimes, things just don't go as she likes. She is slow to get ready for school, making her parents grumpy with her. All her friends can do cartwheels, but she cannot. She is afraid to stand in the front of the class to do show and tell. Her friends sometimes say mean things. One day, Kate read a book about strong minds. She learned that everyone has their own brain and can make their own mind. You can teach your mind what to do so it can tackle any challenge with a positive attitude. When you practice, your mind gets smarter and stronger. It is okay to try and fail because over time, your mind can help you get better at anything you want. Kate decided to use her mind with all her challenges. That evening, Kate wrote a list of all her tasks she had to do in the morning. Get dressed, brush hair, brush teeth, pack school bag, and many more things. The next morning, she told her mind, do one task at a time until the whole list is done. Kate focused her mind on her task list. One by one, she finished the tasks and ticked them off the list as she worked through. She was ready for school with plenty of time. Her parents were very surprised. When Kate arrived at school, her friends were doing cartwheels. Kate never joined in because she couldn't do a cartwheel and she did not want to fail in front of her friends. Kate told her mind, it's okay to try and fail because every time I try, I get a little bit better. She tried her hardest, throwing her hands onto the ground and lifting her legs and she almost got the cartwheel right. Her friends giggled. But Kate felt good that she had practiced. She told her mind, well done. That day, it was her turn to do show and tell in front of the whole class. Standing before a big group always made Kate very nervous. She told her mind, it is okay to feel a bit scared. You can do this. Kate closed her eyes and imagined how she would deliver a great show and tell, speaking clearly, making eye contact and smiling more. Because she practiced in her mind, she wasn't so nervous in front of the class and even enjoyed her show and tell. During lunch, she sat around with her friends in the back schoolyard. Some of her friends started to be mean to her. Kate got very angry and felt like screaming. Then Kate told her mind, count to 10. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That helped her calm down so she didn't feel like screaming anymore. Kate told her friends in a calm voice that she didn't want to be treated like that, then walked off. In the evening, Kate had a basketball game. Her team was very unlucky that night. They were missing some of their best players and hardly any ball went into the hoop. The other team had many strong players and they were way ahead in score. Kate was tired and felt like giving up. Then she told her mind, keep trying your best. Kate kept running and running as long as she could. Her team lost the game, but Kate still felt proud that she did the best she could. Kate was very tired from a long day, but couldn't sleep. She kept thinking about all the things that happened that day. Kate got out of bed and found her dad lying on the couch watching television while glancing at his phone. Daddy, Kate said. Her dad wasn't really listening. Daddy, Kate said more loudly. You are not listening to what I say. Her dad looked up at her. Did you know you can tell your mind to stop looking at your phone and listen to me? You are right, said her dad. I'll put my phone away and concentrate on you. Can't you sleep? Kate shook her head. Let's play a game and relax. Called Rock the Boat. Kate and her dad both laid down on their backs and put a little paper boat on their tummy. They listened to some quiet music and took deep breaths. Breathe in. Two, three, four, and breathe out. One, two, three, four. Breathing made that boat rock in their tummies. After a couple minutes, Kate's mind calmed and she started to feel sleepy. Her dad carried Kate to bed and tucked her in. Kate asked, What were your three favorite things of the day, Daddy? It made Kate feel good when she heard all the positive things her dad had to say about his day. Well, watching you do your best at basketball was surely one of my favorite things of the day, said her dad. This made Kate feel happy. Kate fell asleep to her dad telling all his favorite things and her mind grew just a little bit stronger that day. The end. Hello KA, I am your mystery reader today, Miss Cruz, Leslie's mom. So I hope you guys were able to guess who I was and I hope that you guys like the story. I really like the story because it talks about your mind and how you can make yourself Calm down when you feel upset and keep trying so that your mind can always grow bigger and bigger and stronger every day. And it is what you guys do when you go to school and you learn how to read and do many, many things. You work your mind. I hope you guys like the story. Bye. I'm sure you enjoyed that book as much as I did, so make sure that you thank Miss Cruz when you see her, okay? So this week, since in class we would be doing all these activities, I thought that we would still do the activities, but of course now it's going to be a little bit different. So this is a memories sheet. So you're, it's available for you on Seesaw. 
and you're going to draw some things you remember the most about this year. And you're gonna draw them inside of each photo template, okay? So make your pictures nice and big so that I could tell what it is and very nice and colorful. So for math, so you can actually pause now if you wanna complete the other um, memory sheet. But if you wanna continue to math, I'm just going to have math this week as kind of review because you guys are actually pretty good at it. Okay, so this sheet, it's just for practice and it's addition, it is waiting for you in Seesaw. All right, so now that you finished with math, um, I didn't know how to pick our activities that we would do next. So what I did is we're going to use a random, the randomizer wheel that we use in class to see what activity we're going to do tomorrow. Okay, so these are the activities that we have. So let's see who, what we're going to do tomorrow. Okay, so tomorrow we're going to play a mystery animal game. And tomorrow I'll explain to you a little bit more um, how we're going to play the game and what, what you have to do. But it's going to be, I think you're going to like it. And the, for the rest of this week, we're going to use the randomizing wheel to see what activity we're going to play next. Because this is what we would have been doing in class and I still wanted to make sure that you guys had fun. Okay, and that's it. Very short and nice lesson. I hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget, I hope I see you at the parade on Friday. I will be there and I hope that you can make it also. And I hope to see you there. Have a great day.